Drew Estate Factory Smokes. And I believe Churchill. Hey everybody, I'm Abel K, and this is Cigar Vlog. So, check this out. There's kind of this thing that I'm doing where I'm looking around trying to find the best El Cheapo everyday cigars. And Factory Smokes from Drew Estate kind of fall into that. Now, as far as I know, I believe these are a Cuban sandwich style. Basically what that means is you will find a number of high-end cigars that have a lot of leftovers from the actual manufacturer. And those leftovers cannot really be put into a proper full-on cigar. So what they do is they take those leftovers and they stick them in a uh, leaf or two of long filler and make a mixed filler cigar kind of like a hot dog but then they just wrap it up and bind it you know bind it wrap it and then boom sell it on the cheap and that's basically a cuban sandwich you can think of something like a liga privada as your gourmet 125 dollar tomahawk steak and something like a factory smoke like the gourmet hot dog i've heard some people refer to them as floor sweepings i tend to reserve that term for particularly shit cigars like specifically Cuban counterfeits because those are literally floor sweepings. The Cuban sandwich, on the other hand, is just leftovers. There's nothing wrong with it. It's not cheap tobacco. It's not inferior quality. It's just a different style made with the leftover bits that you can't roll a big, huge, full one out of. Now, they do smoke differently because you don't get flavor transitions. And sometimes you do, depending on how they're made. So far. Hmm. Clean tobacco. A little cocoa. A bit of espresso, I think. No more just clean tobacco and cocoa. Which is nice. Alright, so. I'm gonna smoke this down an inch and uh, see if anything changes. Okay, so about an inch in, players are pretty much right where they started at. Pretty much a uh, clean tobacco with a light cocoa and a lot of wind blowing across my mic because I can feel it on my hand. <laughs> There's nothing I can do about that, sorry. But so far, yeah. Uh, I don't really anticipate a whole lot of flavor change in a cigar like this because Cuban sandwich tinley typically have kind of one no flavor profiles just because of the fact that they're mixed and you know you don't really get a whole lot of you know blending like crazy. I said this is a nice Maduro so it's got a good flavor and there's a whole lot of people coming up here. Okay so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one a little short by pointing out that there's really not a whole lot going on with this other than the fact that it's Clean tobacco, a little cocoa. I'm gonna smoke this down to halfway point and uh, see how much the ash flakes off. That's the thing about the Cuban sandwich, they don't really have long ash competitions though, it's just because structurally they're not really set up for it. So anyway, I'm gonna smoke this down to halfway point and head up to you from there. Just a quick update here. The ash just fell off and it's got maybe about an inch to go to the next a proper halfway point. So, so far, construction seems to be pretty spot on. Flavor-wise, it's been pretty much the same thing all the way through. But I was definitely not expecting it to uh, have as much ash for as long as it did. So, you can call me a little bit impressed on that. But yeah, so far, basically, still clean tobacco, espresso, cocoa. Very cocoa-y retro ale. I suppose this will probably <laughs> classify as a midpoint update. Well, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and keep smoking this down. I'm going to yank this band off because it's kind of a little loose. And uh, give a third update at the nub here. And see if anything wakes up, changes, or stays exactly the same. I'm pretty sure it's going to be pretty consistent all the way through because that's kind of the nature of Cuban sandwich. Overall, though, it turned out to be pretty good for uh, technically a cheapo. Now, when it comes to the whole Cuban sandwich thing, there really is nothing wrong with a Cuban sandwich cigar. They smoke fine, provided you get like quality manufacturer. They smoke fine, they taste good, and while they might not be 
the most intellectually stimulating from a varying flavor standpoint. They're definitely not bad. Looking around, make sure I don't get run over by some idiot on a bicycle. That also kind of lost my train of thought. <laughs> but uh, the only real thing that's wrong with a Cuban sandwich style cigar is if somebody charges you 60 bucks for it. Because you can get a pack of like 25 of these for 30, 40 bucks. If somebody charges you the same price that they would for a more premium line, they're ripping you off. Cuban sandwich are supposed to be cheap because they're basically the leftovers. But anyway. I'm going to go ahead and smoke this down to the nub here. Do the final update from there. Alright. <clears throat> Coming up to the end here. So far, the flavor has been pretty much unchanged. Which is not necessarily a bad thing. If it's got good flavor, then you don't have to focus too hard on what you're tasting. So, basically a cigar like this is actually pretty good for just sitting back and maybe having a thought. Drink pairings with good coffee. Cheap coffee, well, any kind of coffee you like. Maybe your favorite whiskey. Pretty much anything that goes well with a nice Maduro cigar. Beyond that, though, there's really not a whole lot to write home about this. Flavors have been basically natural, clean tobacco with a bit of coffee and cocoa. Very cocoa-y retro hill. For the price, probably one of the better, probably one of the better mouse traps you can find. Overall, though. Like I said, I do think this is a Cuban sandwich, so there's really not a whole lot going to be going on with this. The flavors from the start are pretty much going to be the flavors you get to the end. And, considering they're good flavors, that's not a bad thing. For the price, definitely worth the money. Other than that, there's really not a whole lot else to say about it. Other than it's a good cigar for a cheapo. Actually, even for a non-cheapo, this is actually still pretty good. <laughs> so I can definitely recommend these, especially because you can get them for a song. Other than that, that's pretty much all I got. If you like this video or any other video, like, subscribe, leave me a comment. Definitely check, de uh, definitely check out my Twitch channel. I stream Sundays and Wednesdays, midnight to 2 a.m. A little bit of a night owl slot. If you can't make the live stream, go ahead and check out the recording for up to about a week afterwards. Other than that, that's pretty much it for this. I'll see you next time.